Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, this time we're in uh, beta 144. That's kind of exciting. That's been much anticipated and uh, we've uh, got John Root's 389 and his Great Dane Reaper in the uh, new old school color scheme which is got to admit one of the my favorites especially when it's doing black and blue like this. It's a good looking combo. Um, what we're going to do, let's show you first off, uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll start the truck. Drive safe. Oh, I didn't change that guy. How annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got this uh, much talked about uh, air leveling thing, so there's the front going up. Right going down. And we'll do the back. There's the back up. Back down. And it'll actually let me drive away like that, which is kind of weird. And, uh, whoops. I should move that the other way. Hang on. If I go this way, I should put it back to where we were. That's kind of interesting. So, apparently, theory is for loading, you know, uh, different fifth wheel heights or kingpin heights and whatnot on trailers, coupling heights. So, uh, pretty cool. So let's uh, jump inside. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my inside. Uh, I'll have to use this one. I gotta program that. You know what? Let's make this trip bearable. Let's go in here. Uh, we'll start with the audio. Oh, get this guy out of here. Get Tom Tom Lorry going there. And the other thing was, oops, uh, keys. And we want camera. We want to also have this key. There we go. So that should give us both of those things. Let's try it. Yep, we're all good. Okay, lights on. Trailer brakes off, truck brakes. Nice driving this truck again. So uh, this is Eureka, California, and it's certainly different. <laughs> so after 100 yards, turn right. They've really, really changed turn it a right. lot. I haven't recognized anything yet. And uh, oh, here, uh, let's hop out. We'll look back over once we get around this corner. Back uh, which way? You can see. See all kinds of uh, other lumber yards way in the background there. You can see it more on the way in. Kind of cool. Turn left. So um, I have no map mods in here, obviously, uh, but we are running 49 mods. Um, but you know, so there's big clumps of them, like 10 of them are for this truck and uh, three of John Ruda's trailers. So After there's 10 right there. Yards, turn right. And then I have 10 right. uh, Zmod, or no, sorry, 10 sound files, including sound fixes and uh, the John Ruda engine sounds. So, quite a uh, pile of sound files. Um, three wheel files, five skins, uh, let's see what else was there, got the uh, real Eaton Fuller transmissions, and I also have the cast add-on because I have in this profile also the, uh, I put the, uh, this is a new profile, I put the CST 9000 in it, so I need that cast add-on for the real Eaton for that. 
Jazzy Cat's classic trucks. And there's one coming right there, isn't it? Yep. Uh, or maybe that was the uh, Kenworth. Uh, it could have been a Jazzy Cat. Yeah, I think it was. With the painted grill shroud. Um, Jazzy's classic cars. Oh, sorry, the classic truck pack is a Jazzy Cat. This is the classic cars we have in here. Um, what else? I might have uh, longer yellow lights. Weight station frequencies. Uh, real advertising, real gas stations, and real billboards, I think. We'll see if they work. I gotta kind of keep an eye out for that stuff. See what we see. I'm trying to think if this looks different here. I think this would have been a two lane road, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember this being four lane. We're heading south, uh, just in from the coast a bit. We're heading to Sacramento. And there, I think there should be changes down there too. Yeah, this road looks new. I don't really remember four-lane road here, and a freeway, aha. Uh -huh. Maybe it was like this, I just don't remember. set the mirrors on this truck. Brand new truck. Alright, what's going on here? So this looks familiar. Yeah, this this hasn't changed. First time I saw this, I was so flabbergasted. All the wood carving set there and everything. So I believe the redwoods are in off to our left here. Or no, we're actually going to go through them? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that was on a different road. We've got two roads to go through redwoods now. Nice. It's a nice road on Vancouver Island that has the big redwoods like this and um, early sequoias. Uh, I can't remember. Is that the same thing? Um, and man, they're close to the road. Like where the road goes through like that. Like back, uh, well, especially in the other one where the cars park on each side. Uh, when you go through the redwoods, when you're coming out of, uh, boy, that would be Medford, heading into California, that road. Been on that, I think, twice now in videos. Um, but yeah, when you go through the one in Vancouver Island, pretty claustrophobic. I think the trees are right up against the road, tight, and uh, there's cars parked all along, and people doing their best to get run over. Pretty wild. So a funny thing, um, I hopped in the CST 9000, uh, like when I did this profile, that was the first truck I put in it, because I was kind of liking driving it lately, and 
I was just working on the flame paint job for it. And anyway, put it in, hopped in, and looked in the mirror, and the mirror was like you were half in the ground, half out of the ground. Like you were looking up at the rear wheels and upper half of the mirror. Really strange. So, and uh, I was on Discord talking with a friend, and uh, a couple guys actually, and one of them was just trying 144 with a stock truck, and he had the same same thing. The mirror's all out of whack. So I configured this Ruta truck, because it's, you know, like Joel Collins' trucks aren't going to work right now, and it's always need an update, but I found the, these Ruta trucks seem to work, and sure enough, it's perfect. It works perfectly with the air ride, or air height changes, suspension height changes, and uh, the mirrors work right. So, kudos to John Ruta. So, lots of, um, I did a little short trip from uh, Reading over to, uh, well, it was east of Eureka, but uh, to a new site. It was uh, like the Plaster and Sons type site. And um, although I was using the real advertising, so I think it came out as a Lenar. And um, yeah, it was on New Road. Kind of had to go down a bit of a dirt road. It's one of those housing construction sites. It was kind of neat that it was. Keep right. They put it in off the highway. Yards. Go straight. And uh, what else? Go straight. Apparently, there's going to be a change. I haven't seen it. I haven't noticed. In the uh, street lights, we'll have the white and black stripes around the yellow back panel. Oh, excuse me. Just had supper this morning. So when I look at the map, so what I did is that this profile is, uh, I, I cloned a profile that I'd made. Uh, so what I did is I took a profile that wasn't heavily modified. Yeah, I had map mods and things in it. But I took the map mods out and I um, sold any trucks or trailers in it. And it got it down to like 28 mods, I think. Just the sort of standard things I like to have and like the transmissions thing and some Zmod stuff, you know, essentials. <laughs> and uh, then I cloned it uh, for this one. And uh, so I had previously traveled in that other map fairly, quite a bit. Uh, probably covered, you know, 40% of the country. And uh, when I put it in this game, the area around Sacramento, San Francisco, and south, north, all of the roads are grayed out, so I didn't see too much that I traveled on before, so there's been lots of changes here, lots of new stuff to see, so I think I'll spend it. There's a little bottle jumper, looks like a steerman or something. Oh, I took a screenshot the other day. I uh, forgot to put it up on Steam. I was uh, doing a... Um, I was flying to a location. So in, in uh, the console yeah, mode. And I came across uh, an F-22 Raptor up there. <laughs> and uh, it was just sitting still. So I just stopped beside it, took a picture. And then flew on. That was kind of cool. And I've gone up there before on purpose, like when I saw a little, it was a, the steerman flying around. So I hopped in my uh, the dev console and I flew up to Street. intercept it, fly along with it. Oh. 
yeah, it was kind of cool. And um, I've also done that. I flew, I can't know what city was that. There's one of them, when you look up, you see a whole bunch of crows up above, or ravens, or I thought maybe there were turkey vultures or something hard to tell from on the ground. I flew up to see what they were. They look like crows, great big ones. <laughs> And they're just, um, unlike the airplanes, they're just like a flat cutout sheet of paper laying flat up there. So you see them from the bottom, but when you get up there, it's uh, this one dimensional. They're, you get sideways on with them and they disappear. So that was kind of funny. Wow. Definitely different, this road. I just cannot recall being here before. It's got to be new. Look at the map when we get this load off. We'll take a quick peek at the map and we'll see uh, the new areas and stuff. We'll see where we just traveled. Oh, we're not even getting a look at this truck from out here. Big sweepers aren't my strong suit when it comes to driving outside. This is one of my favorite paint jobs I did. I really love it. I really uh, think I got the blue pretty good this time. says hey, but where we are. No. Nope. No city. Interesting. Bel Arrow. Novato? Sacramento exit to Novato. Right. I'm reading that right. 50 yards. Exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Go straight. Novato. Yeah, South Novato Boulevard. much more pleasant than old grumpy pants. <laughs> That's a, a Zmod's GPS voice mod. Yeah, still looks like a road we've never been on. combination. before we could get here, which is precisely how those flashing oranges work. 
So it's nice to see that in the game. Those are really handy. They're, uh, like I say, uh, said before, they're pretty common around here. And, uh, you know, roads that are 50 miles an hour or higher. Oh, yeah, some new companies, too. Is this one of them, Sidus? GMW. Oh, that might be because I'm running the, the uh, mod. Uh, company names. Yeah, that would have been, um, that would have been the um, American Lines Railway. Truckers press hard to listen. I guess you can see some more billboards. So the uh, no roadblocks didn't work. And the uh, Sound fixes has a uh, I can't remember. Uh, I think it was safe mode. Uh, so the label, like in your active mods list for sound fixes, the left hand third of it uh, says safe mode. So it's running in safe mode, whatever that is. I don't know if it just deactivates a bunch of stuff. What's your way to tell with me to go and uh, fuel up? See if you uh, hear the uh, fuel going in and the nozzle being put back in the pump and the cap and the tank and the, <laughs> the door and the seat belt and the keys. All my turns. See if all of that's still there. This is cool, man. Nice. Oops. Turn it. I thought there was going to be a... Oh. Holy... Amateur hour. I thought it was going to um, have two lanes continuing on around. Sacramento out there in the distance, those towers. Right. right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. It's almost as good as having a new TLC. I <laughs> mean, all of this change, that's a lot we've seen so far. This whole area. your 
right. Well, we can drive around this building. Hmm. Well, I guess what we could do is well, we could probably just back around there into there. over there I was thinking I had to come in tight to this trailer. Alright. It's easy to fix. Busy railway intersection back there. Alright, we'll get this off really quickly and then we'll have a look at that map and see what, we, what kind of marks we made on it. Uh, lights. There we go. 297 miles. Wow. It's long for uh, video trips. Let's see, world map. So, so, I haven't traveled extensively on this one, but fair bit and um, so this is all new right here and I don't know about that road there I think that's an old one but this is all new here and Sacramento to Truckee that's all new because I mean I would have taken that by now and Reading look at the size of this Reading used to be off of this interchange and there was one street through here and one little street down here where the um, Kiwit or HMS machinery was. But uh, it's changed its lever here now that I got the address changes. So that's quite different. This road was the same, uh, 299. It didn't change. But uh, look at Eureka. Okay. So. Let's see. Yeah, that's totally different. Huh. So a guy's going to have to go north. And here's that road with the redwoods right here. And so we ran into them right... Oh, wow. Where was that? Down... I'm trying to think of where that was. Would have been up in here somewhere, I guess. Anyway, very interesting. So lots to see, lots to do. Some new roads here. Uh, this looks all new here. And uh, 299 all the way out to here. So I've traveled this road, so it hasn't changed. Well, from this point down, I guess it did, because I didn't get there by magic. <laughs> so, and this 139. Awesome. Well, we got some exploring to do, guys. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at 144. And it looks like quite a bit of stuff works in there. You can take a... Oh, I don't have my application shared. I was going to show you the um, uh, mods that we have going here, but I'm just sharing the uh, game itself. So, yeah, Root is 389 looking good. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Take care, guys. I'm glad you followed along, and hope you enjoyed it, and bye for now.